Hello, I'm William Rotella, and I'm the instructor for this course on New Church Christian Mystics who have written a substantial amount of writing. Our next Christian mystic in our timeline for this course is Maria Valtorta, coming after Emanuel Swedenborg, Jakob Lorber, and Bertha Dudd. Maria Valtorta was born in Caserta in the Campiana region of Italy to Giuseppe, who was in the Italian cavalry, and Isidy, who was a teacher in French. Maria was an only child. Due to her father's military career, Maria Valtorta traveled around Italy with her parents. Her father eventually settled in the Via Reggio in northern Tuscany. In 1920, at age 23, while walking on a street with her mother, a delinquent youth struck Maria in the back with an iron bar for no reason. In 1934, at age 37, the results of the injury confined her to bed for the remaining 28 years of her life. From 23rd April 1943 until 1951, she produced over 15,000 handwritten pages and 122 notebooks via the inner voice. The writings are sometimes described as more poetic than other inner voice writers, as the writings detailed the imagery that Maria saw with the inner voice detailing events and conversations. Her handwritten notebooks contain close to 700 reputed episodes in the life of Jesus. A priest typed the writings on separate pages and reassembled the work which became the 5,000 page book, The Poem of the Man God. The Holy See placed the work on the index of prohibited books. Pope John XXIII approved the decree and directed that the condemnation be published. The Vatican newspaper, La Osservatore Romano, accompanied publication of this decree, of, of this decree with an article that called the book a badly fictionalized life of Jesus. However, criticism from the Roman Catholic Church was not absolute, as St. Padre Pio and others recommended reading the poem of the man God. In 1972, another book by Maria Valtorta was published, The Book of Azaria, which is a series of lessons that she said was dictated to her by her guardian angel, Azaria. Each, each took its, as a starting point one of the 58 masses in the pre-1970 Roman Missal. Valtorta lived most of her life bedridden in Via Reggio, Italy, where she died in 1961. She is buried at the Grand Cloister of the Basilica of Santissima Annunziata in Florence. Maria Valtorta ends our course on New Church Christian mystics who have written a substantial amount of writing. I hope that you will enjoy knowing about these authors as you can read these materials at any time throughout your life for intellectual investigation and enjoyment.